Full Metal Hell here. We're going to do a quick shootout between these three quadcopters, the JJRC X1, the Blade 200 QX, and the Tarantula X6. We're going to see which one has more up, more punch out, okay? Because a couple of guys have been asking me to do this. I already said I was going to do it, so here it is, y'all. Here it is. First, we're going to start off. We're going to try to do them in order of what I believe the slowest to the fastest is. We're going to start with the QX200. So now, this one you all know, you know, this is a good flying quadcopter though. It really is. Very smooth flying, you know, you can do stuff with this one that, you can do bank turns like an airplane, you know, with this one. That you can't do, you know, with a lot of these other ones. But, it has to do with the controller too, folks. A lot of it has to do with the not being a toy grade controller. Because if I had the deviation for the... JJRC X1, I think it would probably fly pretty similar. Alright, you ready? Here goes the punch out of the 200 QX. Let's get out here past this tree. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Alright, <laughs> that's wide open punch out there. Alright, that's wide open. <laughs> Not much punch out actually. I mean, it's a great flying quadcopter. It's got a lot of forward pitch, you know. It is fast going forward now. Believe that. This one here has got a lot of forward pitch, you know. This one's fast, folks. Look at that pitch. Woohoo! All right. So, one more time. All right. Here we go. Wide up and punch out. And remember, this is a Brussels quad. You know, for for those of you that don't know, I'm sure most of you guys do know, but and it's an expensive quad. This thing's two hundred and fifty dollars. Alright folks, right here with the Tarantula X6, which is really loud and noisy, but is a heck of a flying quadcopter, especially considering, uh, considering that it's brush. But here we go, we're going to do a little punch out, you ready? And we got the V666 controller in the house, and let's do it. And we are in 100% mode, so too, folks, 100%. Now look at that. Man, that's got way more than Blade uh, 200 QS. Sure does. Try it again. Into the wind. All right. See into the wind. I mean, yeah, it's moving pretty good, but you can see that it's fighting the wind. You know, not real fast in forward pitch. You know, going against the wind. Now the other way, of course, with the wind blowing it. You know, of course it's going to be faster, but still a heck of a flying quad, though, considering this thing's brush. Because it sure don't feel like I'm flying a brush quad. You know, except for maybe that. You know, going into the wind. But uh. So the blade has a little more forward pitch, but this, wow, look at that. That's got way more punch out. <laughs> That's got way more punch out than the Blade 200 QX. So, I'll tell you what, this is a good flying quadcopter, folks. I mean, it's amazing that it's brushed. I mean, you know, except for all the noise it's making, then you wouldn't know it was a brushed quadcopter. <laughs> sure wouldn't. You would think this thing was uh, brushless. And it is windy out here, too, like I said earlier. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring it back. And give you one more punch out, and then we're going to pull out the JJRC X1. Pretty ballistic now. Pretty ballistic. Got a pretty good punch out. Angela X1. <coughs> Fantastic quadcopter, man. It's amazing for a brushed quadcopter and for the price, man. And I'll tell you what, this controller makes a big difference. The V666 controller, WL Toys, wow. Makes it much easier to fly, much smoother. You can do your turns way easier. You know, you can do uh, bank turns where the stock controller was real, 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 extremely twitchy. All right, folks. Alrighty. Alright, we're out here with the J 
JJRC X1. Let's see the punch out on this guy. Let me go ahead and switch into high mode. All right, we're in mode three, rate three, high mode. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the punch out on this guy. Huh? Interesting. Go ahead and bring it back. Now remember, it is super windy. And I'll tell you what, this does fly better uh, with the tri-props, folks. And that's what I'm running right now are the tri-props. And honestly, it takes a lot of the wobble out of it. Uh, you know, look at that. You know, you know, with the stock props, man, it would have been hard to make that turn. Trying to let the wind die down for a second. We just got a really strong breeze. That's why I'm talking. <laughs> you know, everybody's like, do the damn punch out already. Uh, <laughs> we're working on it. Let's let this wind die. Okay, ready? Here we go. Punch out. So, honestly, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think the tarantula has just as much punch out. Believe it or not. All right, here we go. Again, it's very windy out here. All right. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You know what? I think this with the stock props would be about the same punch out as the tarantula. But... Wow, the sun made me lose orientation there, folks. Woo wee. Oh, that's a good save, though, huh? You like that? <laughs> that comes from lots of experience. Woo wee. All right. All right, folks. Just to keep it fair, uh, we're back out here with the... JJRC X1 with the stock props on, as you can see. <laughs> we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do a couple punch outs just to see, just to keep it fair, folks. Honestly, because the other props, they they fly good. They actually fly better. You know, it's a little easier to handle. You know, don't wobble so much. But these have better punch outs. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, you know, keep it fair. You know, stock to stock. All right, that was the stock blade and the stock tarantula. Now it's the stock. JJRC X1. Alright, you ready? Here we go for the punch out. You ready, folks? And punch out. Alright, and see? Yeah, now you see the difference? Yeah. There, yeah, there, there's a big difference, okay, between the stock props and the uh, tri blades. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna do that again one more time. Alright, yeah. Big difference now. Yeah. Definitely has more uh, punch out with the stock props. But you see all that little wibble wobbly stuff it's doing? Yeah. It's a little more wobbly with the stock props. So, yeah, it does make a difference having the uh, six inch props on. But, I still say pretty close to the tarantula pretty close folks all right there you go all right well yeah I would say that the, the stock props make a difference and who's the winner of this contest all stock I'm not sure it's pretty close between this one and the tarantula folks here we go all right, <laughs> that's wide open punch out there. All right, let me go ahead and bring it back and let you guys decide too. Ready? All right, that's wide open. Now look at that. This, wow, look at that. That's got way more punch out. All right, yeah.